The Flash, issue 11. Uh, Joshua Williamson writing and... Well, it's David, but it's got an E at the end. Do you know how to pronounce this? No, I do not. I'm just going to say David E. David E? Uh-huh. David. I'm just going to call him David. David. Yeah. David, yeah. David. Something along those lines. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, and then Gian Felice, or Gian Felice. Uh, is his last name. I'm sorry, you know what, David, you, your name is uh, really... <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce any of it. I'm so sorry. But he's on our on this one. And this, of course, uh, continues from the last issue. Uh, Barry goes over to see Kid Flash and they find, him and Iris find out, oh, wait a minute, he's not here. He snuck out, the little bugger. And, yeah. of course, we know that he's in the Shadow World from the last issue. Right. And he eventually... Barry quickly, they sort of find him and Barry ends up in the Shadow World as well. To go and get him back. And it's funny because the last issue of this, we spoke about how we liked that this new villain was being introduced. And it turns out it's not actually yeah. a new villain, it's the Shade. No, yeah. But not the Shade, kind of the Shade. Well, who's been stuck in the, the Shadow Realm. Yeah, like, well, well, the reason why we never, ahead. like, obviously there was elements that were similar to the Shade, but the reason why we thought it was a new villain is because all the versions we'd seen of him in the last issue was this demonic, like, you know. Like, this version that was right. stalking the streets was, like, this Nosferatu-looking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I say, so, it's not the Shade, because the Shade is trapped in in the Shadow Realm. Yeah. And the Shadows have taken control. So, that's who's stalking the streets, or really the Shadows from the Shade. And, yeah. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Needlessly elaborate, but let, let's get with the synopsis and we can get to opinion. Well, yeah. I, well, basically, you know, it's the, the the two flashes in the in the shadow world, and we learn a fair bit of like exposition and backstory as to why he's here, what's going on. That the mm-hmm. shadows are trying to break out into the real world. They're trying to like strengthen their connection, so they're building this this tower. And we also find out at the end of the issue, uh, plot twist, that Iris has uh, been pulled in as well, and she's been like taken over by shadows, as has. Hope. Hope. Has, uh, <laughs> yeah, has lady. Shade's wife. Yeah. Which, I, I like the, the bait and switch he got us with because Hope is lost. We thought, like, oh, it's being general. Like, the, everything's dark. But no, literally, Shade was looking for Hope, who was a lady that was lost. So, yeah. that cracked me up. But, like, the, this has probably been my least favorite issue of Flash. Just because... As I said earlier, it felt needlessly elaborate. Like, I felt that he's... Well, he's done too many moving parts going in this. You know, with the shadow people, mm-hmm. and they're building a tower, and they've taken over Hope and Iris, and time's moving differently there. You know, I was just like, I'm reading the story going, what is going on? And not in a good way. So... Uh, I don't think I had as much problems as you did. I... For me, that just kind of falls into what I said about action and detective, and to an extent, Wonder Woman. It was a solid yeah. issue. It was not as good as some of the highs that we've had so far in this run. Yeah. Uh, I don't have so much of a problem with the whole tower thing. Like to me, it's just kind of that's what they're doing to get out. Like it, if it if it, wouldn't just, be, yeah, if it isn't that, it would be something else. You know, I don't think it's that. Well, important. it's not so much the tower. It's just you know. Just the concepts at play here. I was just kind of like, what is... It's, it's definitely high concept kind of goofy stuff. Uh, like, we're in the shadow yeah. world. It's taken over, you know, uh, the women in both Barry and Shade's life. And, you know, we've got all these monsters like, coming. I, I kind of enjoyed it for the... Uh, just this that big B movie. This is silly. Like, all this is going on stuff. Yeah. You know? Well, if this is the... this is kind of the, the goofy appetizer we get before the return of the rogues, then... So be it. I also thought this was only going to be two issues, but it's three. So, or at least three, because we get a to be continued. Yeah, yeah, we ended a cliffhanger. We're not, we're not, we're not quite done yeah. yet. Yeah. So, but yeah. Nah, I had fun. Like, it's definitely, you know, not not one of the better issues in the run, but I, I don't have any problems yeah. with it. It's it's good fun. Um, obviously the artist on this the one whose name I could not pronounce at all yeah. uh, this is the first issue he's done of this and yeah. I like I had a couple of issues here or there with um, a couple of the heads 
um, yeah. with uh, flash and stuff. But I think for the most part, um, I actually quite enjoyed the art. Mainly, like I think uh, there was even a couple of moments. See, see the end. See the last page with uh, Hope and Iris. They almost mm-hmm. look Albuquerque esque. I don't know if you get that yeah. feeling from them. Uh, I did too. Yeah, kind of like the vampires from uh, from American Vampire. American, I was kind of seeing that. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, it was kind of fun, big, grandiose. But I, I get why you weren't super into it. Yeah. Like, it was, it's not bad, I just didn't like it. Like, I, you know. So yeah. I, th- I think that my only real complaint would be that the introduction to the last issue, you know, the, the whole flashback that was very mm-hmm. sort of uh, sepia-toned and... You know the mysterious, yeah. like this is this new character kind of feeling that we had. Uh, the the tone from that is kind of lost. Definitely. You know, like I kind I kind of miss that. I kind of wished they'd managed to maintain that, specifically with the uh, when he tells the backstory as, as to what happened to Hope and how he got trapped here. I kind of wish yeah. that was in that style again, and they they you know they managed to kind of replicate that again. But yeah, well, it, it almost kind of feels like he was like, oh, this character's like the shade. Why not make it the shade? You know, and that'll be the twist is it's really this character that, you know, some comic fans know others. This will be an introduction to, but I don't yeah, feel yeah. like it works with, like you just said, the sepia tone. It doesn't work with the shade, you know, because it kind of goes against that of the shade. But, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. We get another issue of this at least and we'll see where it goes and it could rebound Yeah. Uh, for me. Yeah, I'm having fun. It just, it just lost a little bit of the what made the last issue a little bit more special yeah. at the start. So that'd be my one my one thing. Mm-hmm.